back again. Well, I guess not such a good morning as you can probably tell by my shirt. It is pouring rain here in Virginia. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while and mainly that's for two reasons. One, our house is even more of a mess than it was because the guys that are doing the tile are now doing it in the center of the kitchen. So we have literally no kitchen access. Can't get to the fridge, can't get to the stove or anything. So we're pretty much cut off from the lifeline of the house. And two, it has pretty much been doing this the last two, three days. So the co combine the two things, I really haven't had a, the need to do a vlog or the want. It just hasn't been enough to talk about. But but I did want to do one today because I wanted to make sure you guys knew that I was still okay and I was still out there. Um, my hair is absolutely ridiculous this morning. Um, I need to get a haircut, which I will try. I, we have the means to do it at home. We just got to wait till we have a nice day to do it. <laughs> this is just really crazy. Um, what am I going to do today? Well, I got to start packing because we are going to be going out of town. Uh, we're going to go visit my uncle for a while. Um, luckily, though, the workmen have decided that they're going to put off work for the rest of the week. And they're actually going to be coming in um, the week that we're gone. So they'll be there. Uh, to, one of the guys is going to take care of the cats and they're going to be finishing up all the work on the floors because there is still a lot of work left. Oh, yeah. I would say there's a good two weeks worth of work left. I mean, it is just a huge job, way bigger than anybody originally thought. So, I mean, like I said, it, it, it's kind of working out nicely because the guys can be there when we're not there, so we're not there to bother them when they're working. And one of the guys is a real cat lover, so he's going to be able to watch our two cats because I could not find anybody to do it. I tried our, our usual people, and they were all busy. So, like I said, it worked out really nice. Um yesterday oh my gosh we lost power twice and i don't know why i mean we had a few storms but nothing major uh the first time we lost power was for about 10 seconds the second time we lost it was for a half an hour and of course it's at the time when i'm working on a client's computer and i don't have a ups i really i know i need to buy one i just have not found a decent price on one so when the power went out it was in the middle of doing a windows um office install and it totally messed up when the power came back on i had to run the uninstallation which took about an hour to get all the corrupted files out and then finally i was able to reinitialize the install and then finally it went through so i mean it was just crazy well i'm gonna go ahead and head into the thrift store i'm right out here right now see if they got anything because as most of you guys know they've watched my channel for any length of time today is sale day uh, not expecting too much, but you know what? You never know. So I'm going to head in there, and I will talk to you in a little bit. All right, tubers. Well, pretty much as I expected, the uh, thrift store was a total bust. They have not put electronics out in, I would say, over a week. I mean, it is so bare there. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm going to be heading home right now because we're actually starting to flood. We have had over six inches of rain combined between today and yesterday, so everything's starting to flood, and... You know, my car's a little low to the ground, so I don't want to get caught in a pretty high water area. Um, one other thing I want to let you guys know, we did, I appreciate all the comments um, about my car with the ABS. Um, you guys had gave me some really good ideas, but I we believe we figured out the problem. Um, and we're pretty sure it's one of the two front uh, ABS uh, brake speed sensors. Uh, specifically, think the driver's side one is the culprit because we took the wheel off the other day and uh, we noticed that behind the wire there's like a little clip that's supposed to hold it in place. Well, that clip had actually sheared off and even though the the sensor seemed to be for the most part in place, you can see that the wire was a little bit frayed. So I think what's happened is water has gotten in there over the years, probably caused a little bit of a short and that's why the ABS and the uh, traction light are coming on. So hopefully that's that'll fix it i went online yesterday and i bought uh two actually i bought two sensors because the front two and the rear two abs speeds uh, brake speed sensors are the same um basically i bought the two front ones for 24 dollars and 95 cents a piece so basically a little over a little under 50 dollars um because there's you know when you buy on ebay there's no tax or anything so not a bad deal we're going to change the front two hopefully that fixes the problem um, if the lights still come on after that, then we're going to go ahead and change the rear two. And if that doesn't work, I'll probably have to bring it to the dealer because that's about the extent of what we can do at home. 
even though this is a 99, this car is pretty high tech for its time. So we'll have to bring it there. They'll have more like a dealer level scan tool and hopefully be able to uh, put, pull up a code and diagnose the exact problem because whenever I restart the car, the code or the lights go out and it's not even saving the code. We have one of those little cheap um, OBD2 scanners it's supposed to tell you just like basic information, but it's not pulling up any code, so it's obviously an intermittent problem. <laughs> See, high water, guys. You gotta be careful when you're out in the rain like this. It is really, really starting to flood, so I'm gonna go and end the video right now, and I'll talk to you guys uh, when I get home. What? What is it? Meow. Well, guys, once again, the workmen are here, and once again, Miss Cassie is confined to my room. I know she doesn't like it, but she's got to realize it's for her own good because she will run outside. Yes, she will. But nevertheless, she does not enjoy being confined. She went out, It's funny because when I first got her, she was perfectly fine with it. She'd be content to stay in here all day long. But now, since she's had the free roam of the house, she realizes there's so much more. Isn't that right, kitty? Isn't that right? Go come say hi. Just nudge. She's trying to suck up to me because she thinks I'm going to let her out, but it's not going to happen today, baby. The rest of the week you should be able to, though, when the workmen are gone. Yes. Oh, she loves it under the chin. That's, that's her special spot. Good girl. Why don't you go to sleep, Cassie? Yeah, she's getting so much bigger. I really need to watch her food intake. We're going to stop giving them so much wet food because she's actually getting a little bit of a belly. She was a nice and thin girl when we first got her. Now she's getting a little heavy. Yes, you are, little pumpkin. Cause, got anything to say? Got anything to say? Okay. All right, YouTube. Well, I had to get back out of the house. Between Cassie going nuts in my room meowing... And the workmen downstairs, I just can't think straight. So I'm going to head out to that other local thrift store, see if, uh, if I can't find anything there. Um, I want to give you guys kind of an uh, itinerary on what we're going to be doing when we're uh, out of town. Um, we're going to go up to my uncle's house because we try to go up there at least every, you know, maybe two or three times a year. It's been a little less recently, but, you know, we do the best we can. And the reason we're going up there is it is time for the Apple Fest again. That's right, guys. I don't know. As long as... For those of you that have subscribed to my channel for a while, you probably remember another video I did years ago um, that had been two or three years ago now about the Apple Fest. And uh, it's a really big event in the little town of Green, New York. And um, basically, it's, it's put on by the uh, Zion... I think it's the Zion Church that does it, but don't quote me on that. Um, basically, it's, it's all things Apple. They have tons of vendors there. They do a lot of arts and crafts. Um, they sell apple jelly. They sell actual apples. Right as you go in, there's big bins of apples. You can buy Cortland, which is my personal favorite apple. You can get uh, Gala apples, Macintosh apples. I think they even have some Red Delicious apples. And they're all locally grown, or at least fairly locally. Um, they usually have music. They have other food there. They have like apple dumplings. They have apple strudel. They have um, uh, apple crisp, apple crumble. And basically, it's devoted to everything apple. And it's a huge event. Event. I mean, people from all around New York and even uh, northern Pennsylvania come to this every year. So it's going to be really fun. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'm going to get as much footage as I possibly can. Um, you know, I don't know if the music there will uh, hinder me with the copyright police, but hopefully not. Um, basically, we're going to be there uh, for like five days. And then we're going to go down uh, to Pennsylvania, a uh, town near Gettysburg. And we're going to visit some old church friends that moved up there uh, who used to live actually in this area. And uh, I really don't know what we're going to get to there. Uh, they said they had some activities planned for us. Don't know what yet. So that's going to kind of be a surprise. But I'm going to enjoy this a lot. And I will be sharing it with you. I have my laptop I'm going to be bringing with me. Um, now, for those of you that don't know, I actually sold the 17-inch the laptop, the H the one that I got at the uh, garage sale around here and I kept the one that I purchased that's the 15 inch one and the main reason I did that is I don't really didn't really need a 17 inch laptop uh, the screen was just too big the laptop was really bulky to, to lug around and I much prefer the smaller screen at least for me because I only use a laptop maybe two to three times a year max
back. So that was just my decision. But uh, you know what? It'll work out good for me. You guys will be able to see regular uploads, hopefully. I know I can upload videos semi-regularly up at my uncle's. Um, it takes a little while, though, because his upload speeds are really low. Um, but, you know, it'll get there. It'll usually take about 13 to 14 hours to upload. So it may not be as many videos. And then... When we go down to our other friend's house, I'm sure I'll have uh, a good amount of bandwidth there because uh, he's a computer tech by trade and she's really into computers too. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right now. I'm going to hit up that other thrift store and see what goodies we can find. Talk to you in a little bit. All right, tubers. So I thought I'd give you uh, an idea of the kind of rain we're having right now. It's actually slowed down a bit. Um, before it was really, really steady and at times fairly heavy. You can see over here we got a little bit of flooding, um, especially on the curbs over here. It's actually a lot better than it was yesterday. Um, oh my gosh, I would say around 4 or 5 o'clock when my mom was getting off work. She said it took her about an hour to get home due to all the flooding. They had to go so slow. Luckily, um, they're talking about the rain stopping maybe around 5 or 6 tonight. So we're likely going to see a little bit more flooding, but uh, it shouldn't be too, too bad at this point. Luckily, we haven't had a lot of rain this, uh, this past couple of months, so the ground wasn't totally saturated. But yeah, you can see the water's definitely pooled. I, this is the uh, the new thrift store I'm hitting up right now. This is the um, Lifeline Thrift. And for those of you that live in my area, this is definitely one that you want to look into. I mean, this, this thrift store is still up and coming, but they're getting some really, really unique items in. And I'm not going to film it today, but hopefully... Uh, within the next uh, week or so, I'll get permission to do it, but you can see that it's right there. It's called Lifeline Thrift Store. Well, I'm going to head in, see what treasures I can find, and I will talk All to you right, guys a little bit later. here at my local Great Clips, uh, getting ready to get my hair cut. You can see that it is way past due. I try to do it at home, but in both of our clippers, one is lost and the other is just totally down for the count. So I think I'm going to come here and get it done uh, professionally. I'm going to try to get it pretty short, so you'll see what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys, here's the after. You can see I went really short this time. This is actually a number one, but I'm really stoked because that means I won't have to worry about cutting my hair for the next couple of months. And because we're going upstate and I'm going to be out at the Apple Fest, and I know I'm going to be sweating because I'm a face sweater, this is going to help tremendously. My hair, once it gets wet, it'll take no time to dry. Well, I just called Dad. We're going to head and get some lunch, and I will talk to you a little bit later, but yep. Really happy I got the haircut done. All right, done. Tuber, so I'm back home. Dad's up here with me, and I thought I'd show you. He's uh, trying to play with Cassie. He's trying to get her, entice her to take the uh, mouse on the end of the string there. And she looks like she wants to. Go get it, Cassie. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's too enticing for her to ignore. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the problem. She needs to play more. She's cooped up here all day. You know, we're not here for the most part, and she just gets too restless. That a good girl, Cassie. Sorry about all the noise, guys, but as I've said, we have construction going on. There she goes. See, this is what she really needs. She needs playing. I was holding her for a few minutes, but she just does not want to relax. Got all that kitten energy, that pent-up kitty energy that she's got to get out. Get a cast. Oh! <gasps> Look, 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 look. You have to bring it closer to her. She's just that kind of cat. No. I don't throw it in her face. <laughs> then, no, I guess she'll really go and want to get it then. Nah, now she's getting frustrated because she doesn't can't grab it enough. Ah, there you go. Got it. 
All right, tubers, I'm going to end the vlog here for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a little shorter than usual, but I really didn't have too much to talk about. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.